for Sean Bay. But coming right up, we're going to meet the, an author of a different kind. She's written some kids' books, Prince Bear and Papa Bear. Emily Lim will speak to us about the journey that has led her to write her first book. Welcome back to the program. Now, nine years ago, she was your typical successful career woman with a great job and a new husband. And hmm. when I say new, I don't mean in that sense, but more like oh. she just got married. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, then she woke up one morning and discovered that her voice was gone. Unfortunately, it wasn't a temporary voice loss. Her voice never came back and they discovered she had spasmodic dysphonia, a rare voice disorder for which doctors have yet to figure out a cause, let alone a cure. Although her company had been very supportive of her throughout this, in 2005, she decided to take a break. And as she says, she wanted to smell the flowers. So did she get to do all that and to smell the flowers? Or did she end up spending a whole lot more ink because she was plugging away at her first book? Well, let's welcome Emily Lim to our studio this morning. Good morning, Emily. Hi, morning. First all of right. all, how are you doing? Is your voice okay now? Uh, I'm much, much better now, actually. Mm -hmm. um, before that, it... Maybe you could hear about two out of ten words, uh -huh. uh, but now we're having a normal conversation, so yes. Fantastic. So tell us about this mm -hmm. book that you have. The um, title itself has already catch a Prince Bear and Papa Bear. Yes. How did the idea come about? Um, actually, Prin Prince Bear and Papa Bear is um, inspired by my own personal experiences. Um, it's a story about love and charity. Um, it's also a story about hope and second chances. Mm -hmm. um, Papa Bear is um, a sad, poorly stitched bear um, who longs to be loved. Mm -hmm. And he finds it when a low boy brings him back mm -hmm. and stitches up a mouth for him. Mm -hmm. And he learns to extend that love to others. Mm -hmm. Prince Bear is this uh, proud, well stitched bear. Mm -hmm. And um, he thinks he's going to live happily ever after. Uh -huh. But life isn't perfect. Right. His life takes a tumble. Um, but he gets a second chance. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much a reflection of your own life, just saying how, you know, when you, you were sort of, uh, everything seemed nice and rosy and then That's this right. happened. Mm -hmm. That's uh, right. so, so what made you write about this in a story in the sense of this story, but not, and not about the illness itself, you know, not to do yes. an awareness kind of... Yeah. Actually, when I um, first started writing this story, I knew that um, I wanted to write something that was meaningful. Mm. But it was very unintended that... I actually ended up drawing from my own personal experiences. Uh -huh. um, that was quite unintentional. <laughs> so um, when you were sitting down to write the book, it was more for the people, the children out there, not for yourself. That's right, that's mm. right. But um, it was actually quite subconscious mm -hmm. that um, my papa bear does not ha did not have a mouth at the start of the story and he could not speak. Um, and actually that, that kind of... Um, that was influenced by my own experience, I think, right. um, as you mentioned. Mm. Um, I, I've actually struggled with a rare voice disorder for the past nine years. Mm -hmm. And um, like Papa Bear, I, I had this longing uh, for acceptance. Mm. I felt I was incomplete. Um, and of course, I wanted to recover. Um, but actually, through all the struggles, I, I turned to my Christian faith, mm. and it gave me a lot of strength. Um, and saw me through a very, very difficult period. Mm -hmm. um, so actually that also inspired the ending of the story. Um, at the end, Papa Bear speaks again. Uh -huh. He's got a nice, happy mouth. Right. And um, that actually speaks to my own hope mm -hmm. that um, I will fully recover one day. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm much, much better now. So Papa Bear and Prince Bear is your before and after sort of, the uh, you know, the um, yes. hope that you look ahead. That's right, that's right. And Actually, also for Prince Bear, um, like what Steve said, mm -hmm. he expects to live, uh, live a perfect life, um, but life has its ups and downs. That's you know? right. Mm -hmm. And um, I suppose it's how you respond to it, mm -hmm. um, and you can always have a second chance. Because sometimes, yeah, when, when things are going well for us, we often don't think about what exactly. could happen, you see, exactly. and you forget. But then again, I mean, you, you, ha you sort of had it all. I mean, you had a great job and the company was still uh, very supportive. So why did you decide to take a break entirely and not sort of do it just by the way, you know? Actually, um, 
I, I've always wanted to do writing, um, but it's very difficult to get into it when you're working full time. Mm. Um, it's difficult to be inspired, you know, when you're writing board papers, running numbers, <laughs> <laughs> right. answering your bosses. Uh -huh. So um, I, it was only when I decided to take a break at this time mm. that um, the inspiration came true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. By writing this book, I mean, first of all, how long did it take you? You know, this um, whole story yes, line. actually, this this was actually part of a um, book publishing competition um, that was organized by the Media Development Authority and the Book Council. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I took part in this competition in March, and um, the winners were actually announced in about beginning of June. Mm. So all it has taken me about five months, mm -hmm. um, including the the work preparation before that. I'll say the best part of this year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now that the book is out, is it like a, you know, seeing mm -hmm. that your story sort of is told a, yes. a, in the form of these uh, stories about the two bears, yes. is it like a catharsis effect for you? Um, Some kind of closure in, in a sense, you know, that... Actually, it's, um, it's actually given me the opportunity to um, speak up and to share um, about my voice journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it was always something I was not so comfortable talking about. Right. Um, mm -hmm publicly, by now, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I've actually received a lot of encouragement and a lot of feedback and support, right. and um, actually it's also given me a chance to, um, uh, I, I've actually done a tie-up with Club Rainbow, mm. and um, that, that's been really very meaningful, and it's given me a, a chance to you know, raise some money for um, the charity. Mm -hmm. Right, we've just got a few pictures from one of those events where basically you were reading, well, you were reading to the kids uh, the story, right? And, and Yes, that's right. Um, that, that was actually the first time I was actually doing a, a book reading um, and that was actually at a food junction um, when they did their official launch. They wanted to do something for charity. Mm. So I said, um, why not involve the Rainbow Kids since uh, I'm already doing something with them and right. I'll just throw in my storytelling. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that was very meaningful. Mm -hmm. um, they enjoyed it very much and um, they said they will look after the book properly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so is this the direction you're planning for the rest of your journey or um, you know, do you yeah. intend to write other books of other kinds, not, maybe not for children? Um, actually at this point in time, um, I've discovered my inner child. Uh -huh. um, I must confess, I've read at least 50 picture books in the last okay. six months. <laughs> uh, sort of your research in that's a way. That's right, well. that's uh -huh. right. Um, I recommend it for everyone. Um, uh -huh. There's a lot of profound wisdom mm -hmm. um, in so few words. Right. And of course, you can finish it in 10 minutes too. Right. So. And it's an easy <laughs> read to revisit those, those books again, you know. That's right, that's right. Re rediscovering the joys you know, yeah. of reading. Well, Emily, thank you so much for coming in. We salute your courage for you know, speaking up as well. Thank you. Right. Thanks. We've been speaking to Emily Lim, writer of Popper Bear or Prince Bear and Popper Bear, about the journey that led to her writing her first book. Right, you know the illustration is great too, and you know it just takes for us. Yeah, we didn't get a, turn, to a chance to touch on that, but I think you got you, you found the illustrator online, right? I mean, just right. yeah. Actually, I um, I was at Crown Zero in terms of knowledge about yeah. the industry. So I found the illustrator and printer online. I Google. Okay. Uh, so yes. there you go. Google doing wonders for the world these days on the internet. So if you have a chance, you can pick these up from all the bookshops. We're going to take up our short break here on Prime Time Morning, but do stay tuned. Still lots more here.